So the next topic is the industry musician, photographer, teases Drake time little Uzi Vert called At The Gates. And man, this has been a humongous snippet that all of us have been waiting for. It was first previewed eight months ago and it's called At The Gates. And it's Drake just being nice and melodic. Then Uzi coming in nice and melodic. And it's like, At The Gates. Da, 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 da. Take a pocket with me. And I remember like the video, like they're like bowling, whatever, and it's playing the song in the background. And then that song sounds like it's gonna be so fire. There was early on rumors that the song was gonna be on Little Uzi Vert's pink tape or the red and white tape with the Drake and Little Uzi Vert collab. But the more recent rumors from very strong inside sources are saying this track is gonna be in a highly anticipated Drake project. Not honestly, never mind, Scary Hours 3. And we all know about all the different Scary Hours. The first Scary Hours had God's Plan. It was like a two pack. And yeah, God's Plan, I don't even know how many times that one applied to that song one of the greatest hip hop rap songs of all time, even in this generation and of all time. And Scary Hours 2 was the one that had What's Next featuring, um, yeah, just What's Next, and you had the song Wants and Needs with Little Baby and the song with Rick Ross, Lemon Pepper Freestyle. So Scary Hours 3 is probably gonna be like a little EP mixed together, just kind of, of rap sounds and influences that he's having. Because a lot of people on the rap side of things were very disappointed, but honestly, never mind. So when Drake had his radio show and pretty much explaining, yo, I'm gonna be dropping an album, just five out and just enjoy it. Don't have any expectations. He ended up dropping pretty much like a house, techno, melodic album, which I think was pretty fire, but had low replay value for me at least. Um, the song Texco Green, top tier Drake song. Jimmy Crooks, top tier Drake song, featured 21 Savage. So yeah, just bringing it back to the, the topic. A lot of people weren't really feeling, honestly, never mind on the rap side. But a lot of the white people that just like, you know, like partying in Florida, the clubs, EDM music, they were fucking with it. A lot of girls were fucking with it. But he almost, he already prepared his fans. Yo, I'm gonna be dropping Scary Hours 3, which is gonna be like all rap, melodic shit that everybody loves. So bringing it all the way back to what I was saying, the song At The Gates with Little Uzi Vert and Drake is slated to be on that project. And man, it's been on the internet circulating for so, so long now. And people are just hungry for it. All the Drake stands, you're all sitting together, like they're at a church, praying. It's like, yo, finally, a little Uzi for it and Drake collab. And all the Uzi fans are in a circle and they're a uh, satanic cult circle, all praying to the demon being like, yo, we need this Drake and Uzi Vert song. And man, it just gets me really stoked because this song is gonna be absolutely lit and super fire. Kinda, it kind of has like the Drake, nothing was the same, kind of more life vibes, melodic, with the Uzi Vert kind of just doing his nice melodic flow. And this is gonna be a really good look for little Uzi Vert because the way they're got, that they're gonna drop this <clears throat> is gonna be really perfect because it's gonna lead right up to little Uzi Vert's pink tape. So this song is definitely gonna chart super high unless somehow it flops. And then guess what Little Uzi Vert's team's gonna do? They're gonna be like, boom, drop the pink tape. And now Uzi has so much more anticipation for his brand new pink tape. Yeah, it's pretty much like an industry person photographer just posted, Drake at the gates featuring Little Uzi Vert. Now let's go to the comments. Someone said, I thought this wasn't a song, now it is, laughing emoji. I can see why people are confused, but there's clear indicators that this song is absolutely real. So I don't know what this guy is talking about. I'm kind of curious what the comment is saying about that comment. Someone said, dog, they wouldn't just delete an Uzi and Drake song. That's completely facts. It's Lil Uzi Vert and Drake. Drake, the biggest hip hop artist of all time. Little Uzi Vert, one of the biggest SoundCloud rappers of all time. And I'm super solidified. Why the hell? Why the fuck would they delete an Uzi from Drake collab? You're right. But then again, they had the Roddy Rich and Drake song that leaked. 
and I had lots of snippets never dropped so you never know and now the whole industry the, all the fans has turned on Roddy Rich anyways back to my point dog they wouldn't just like the Uzi and Drake song that's what someone commented and someone commented this I remember hearing that somewhere too someone else said the label deleted the snippets and remasters of the song so what do you mean so the reason why the team deletes those songs is because it's actually going to drop it doesn't mean that the song doesn't exist anymore. It just means, yo, stop taking, stop putting on snippets of this because this song is going to actually drop. And the people that post it on social media are potentially monetizing on it. So this just means the song is actually going to drop. You guys remember when God's Plan was, was a huge snippet. You know what I mean? So I think Dre kind of strategically does this. Kind of puts these snippets out casually on different pages for promotion and get it super hyped up and if it doesn't have any circulation or any hype on it, he's not gonna drop it, you know what I mean? So I think that's kind of what it's about. Someone else said, if there's actually a collab, that cover is shit. I mean, if you look at the, the cover right there, it's just like a yellow background and saying, Drake at the gates featuring Little Uzi Vert. I think that may just be like a cover at the start of a video. It's kind of like a retro 2000s vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what someone said to that. I'm sure that ain't it. They even officially posted the post feature themselves. They ain't even officially posted a feature themselves. Yeah, that guy's talking facts. Someone else commented. This is the biggest troll comment I've ever seen. I mean, it's kind of facts because we haven't actually heard a little Uzi Vert and Drake collab yet and full quality because there's a lot of snippets of the song someone said Cardi and Uzi is better and he's just trolling you know what I mean Cardi and Uzi that's like a hard duel to actually be better than so to be honest man it's a fair ass comment someone commented split a perky with me and that's just kind of like the, the lyrics from the like split a Perky with me. I hope this video doesn't get demonetized or taken down from that, that lyric. You know what I mean? Someone commented, so they never made a song together. That's crazy. I think it is kind of crazy just like how long Uzi's been irrelevant for and how many random Drake features Drake has hopped on and haven't made a song together. On oh God, man, I definitely feel that. It's like, yo. Why haven't they collabed before? Like, Drake even collabed with Playboy Cardi on 1993. When, even though that song just kind of turned out to be, yo, dumpster juice and trash man. You know what I'm saying? Someone commented, young boy better. That guy's the biggest troll ever. And he can fuck right off, man. Anyway.